Warriors NRL Fanatics here back today with a video but before getting into it please make sure you don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below it's free it doesn't cost a fee and I would really much appreciate it if you do subscribe to the channel look there's plenty of content to come you know the likes of you know pre-season trials there will be live reactions to that there will be reviews as well there will be vlogs there will be previews and reviews of the games during the season nrl weekly tips as well and uh plenty more content to come as well so make sure you do hit that subscribe button so you can keep locked into the channel for all your new videos and content to come and also don't forget to hit that thumbs up on the video that would be much appreciated and uh, turn on the bell so you don't miss a new notification when i upload a video or do a live stream but let's get into it now and i'm going to go and predict my moldy all-stars team to take on the indigenous all-stars team as you guys know the maori moldy all-stars versus the indigenous all-stars game is every year it happens very annually annually during february and look i'm looking forward to it it's um you know great to watch both teams out there representing their cultures the indigenous and the maori representing their culture as well so i'm very keen to see how it goes um you know the the maori haka the indigenous wall darts it's always great to see those two cultures combine on the biggest game of all but last year there were some issues with with you know some of the selections because you know the melbourne storm players were stuck in melbourne because of the covid situation there and uh also there's some injuries and players ruled out so hopefully this year we can see less dramas than there were last year when the maori and indigenous all-stars teams faced off against each other and hopefully we see both these teams at full strength for this good game coming up in february but first i'm gonna do today is predict my multi all-stars team and in the next video we'll do the indigenous all-stars team but let's get into it so starting off at fullback i've gone with caleb ponga on the wing is dylan watini zelezniak in the centers is joseph manu and rima smith in the other wing position is Bailey Simonson and in the halves is Jerome Luai and Jerome Hughes. Jesse Bromwich is in the prop position while Brandon Smith takes up the hooker's spot. And the other prop position is James Fisher-Harris and in the second row I've gone with Kenny Bromwich, Jordan Rickey and the lock is Joseph Tapanen. Now onto the bench now and I've gone with Jeremy Marshall-King, Britton Neokore, Jared Warrior Hardgraves and taking up my 17 and this will be a very surprise selection for a lot of people I know he was um, named in the Maldi All-Stars team last year and that is Dejan Assi so from the North Queensland Cowboys so that that rounds out my 17 for the Maldi All-Stars team for the February clash against the Indigenous now I'll explain some of my selections first now, Kalen Pong at fullback. Look, CNK, Chance Nickel Klockstad, um, had a good game there at fullback last year, but it's pretty straightforward with Kalen Ponga. Fully fit Kalen Ponga has to be in that fullback spot for the Maldi All Stars. And in the previous uh, seasons when he's played for the Maldi All Stars, he's always been that starting fullback. So, Kalen Ponga for me, fully fit, is no, no, no question about the fullback. For me because obviously with he's played there before now on the wing i've gone with dalen dalen watini zelezniak and dalen watini zelezniak had a pretty good season last year i know he started off the season pretty quiet but that mid-season switch from the war from the uh, bulldogs to the warriors uh turned out to be a pretty decent um move actually in the um latter part of the season i thought dalen was pretty good when he signed with the Warriors uh, mid-season, but Dylan, you know, he's a very, he's very proud of his culture, and um, he's he's a Kiwi boy, and he's and he's proud of his Maori heritage. So 
a straight forward for me, Dylan, which he's the least next got to be in the side. Now, Joseph Manu and Remus Smith. Uh, Remus Smith, unlucky to miss out last year. He didn't make it because, um, well, he was part of the Melbourne Storm last year. So, look, most of these um, Mold Melbourne Storm players weren't able to represent the Maldi last year because of the COVID um, situation up there, and they were all stuck in Melbourne. So, Remus Smith is a pretty straightforward for me in the centres. And um, Bailey Simonson on the wing now. Bailey Simonson was very unlucky last year because he missed out due to injury. So it was got nothing to do with COVID. Unfortunately, it was due to injury, and he would have played in that game if we if he weren't for that unfortunate incident with his injury. But that's my back five. I think it's a strong back five for the Maori All Stars. Um, is it the best um, in terms of you know matching up with the Indigenous? Well, we'll have to wait and see because I'll be naming my Indigenous side in the next video but that's a pretty solid back line i'll say a pretty solid back five for me for the multi all-stars now the halves jerome luai and jerome hughes oh well, that's pretty straightforward not, not really no point really explaining that those selections it's straightforward for me jerome hughes and jerome luai now um brandon smith for during marshall king brandon smith last year like like I said with the Melbourne players, they weren't able to come over. So Brandon Smith's always a starting hooker for me for the Maldi All Stars, and in previous seasons he has always been that that um, starting nine, and he also plays starting nine for the New Zealand Kiwis as well. So pretty pretty straightforward um, selection there. James Fisher Harris, Kenny Bromwich, Jordan Ricky, and Joseph Tarpanay. That's a very uh, strong forward pack, in uh, my opinion, I think the forward packs probably the best um, for the Mary All-Stars. It was last year, pretty good four-pack as well. And the bench, so Jeremy Marshall King, Brennan Neal, Corey Jadria, Hargraves, um, you know, they can all come off the come off the bench and add a bit of impact for the Mouldy. And uh, Dejan Arce, look, bit of a surprise, bit of a shock selection, but he he was selected last year, and look, I think, why, why not give him another crack in the 17? But that wraps it up for the my Maldi All Stars predicted one to seventeen team. Let me know if you disagree or agree with my Maldi All Stars team in the comment section below. And what is your Maldi All Stars team? If you don't agree, let me know yours down in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't already done so, please click that subscribe button down below. That'd be much appreciated. Helps out the channel massively. And uh, yeah, look. Like I said, lots of content to come this year. Lots of content to come on the channel. Like previews, reviews, player ratings. All your New Zealand Warriors content. And also weekly NRL tips as well on this channel. So, what are you guys doing? If you're, if you're really into your Warriors content. Well, make sure you do subscribe to this channel. Because it's um, really much appreciated. But turn on the bell as well. So you don't miss a notification when I do a new video. And hit that thumbs up on the video. Hit that like button. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.